Hi, so I hope everyone's well today and it's sunny with you. It's very grey with me today. Anyway, so in today's video we're going to be looking at the definite integral. Um, in C1 we looked at the indefinite integral and we learned that when we um, integrated we were doing the opposite of differentiation. So we have a function, we differentiate it and then when we integrate we go back to our function. So this little f dash means our function has been integrated. And when we did the indefinite integral, we had to add this plus c because if there'd been a constant originally, when we differentiate a number, it, we get zero. And so here we can't tell whether there had been a number there or not. Now, if you remember when we uh, integrate, what we do is we add one to the power and divide by the adjusted power. So uh, this would become x cubed over three. Now, with the definite integral, what we're going to do is we're integrating between two points and we no longer need the c. So this means we're going to integrate our differentiated function with respect to x. And then we have this square bracket notation, which tells us to substitute first b into our function. And then we take away our function once we've substituted a into our function. So this is f of b minus f of a. And make sure you do the top one first and then the bottom one after. And that's what this square bracket notation means. And it's important to use the square bracket notation. OK, so here's um, a quick question. So we're going to integrate 4x dx between 1 and 2 between our limits of 1 and 2. Uh, so when we integrate this, we add 1 to the power, divide by the adjusted power. So this is 4 over 2x squared. And then we're going to do this between 2 and 1. Sort it out a little bit. So first of all, I substitute in 2. This gives me 2 times 2 squared. That's 8. Then I take away after I've substituted in 1. So this is 2 times 1 squared, which is just 2. So I get... 6. So remember you need to substitute the limits top first um, and you know that when you integrate you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power or the adjusted power. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Bye.